Good afternoon to you. I'm Brian Yacono. A judge entered not guilty pleas on behalf of an off duty Providence police officer accused of assaulting a woman at an abortion rights rally last month. Tonight we have new information surrounding the charges against John Lugo from newly obtained court documents. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie is live for us in Providence today with how the allegations unfolded. Alex. Well, Brian, a Rhode Island State Police affidavit uh, shows says a review of video recorded by an uninvolved party that night showed a small pocket of protesters surrounding a man who was assaulted. And shortly after that is when John Lugo is captured on camera. A Rhode Island State Police affidavit claims on the night of an abortion rights rally at the State House in June, video shows a man can be seen facing Jennifer Rourke, who had been a guest speaker at the event that night. 12 News obtained video from radio and podcast host Bill Bartholomew showing one angle of the incident. State police say the man in the video was later identified as John Lugo and that he's seen taking a defensive stance before he squares off with Rourke, who put her hands up. Police say the video shows Lugo struck Rourke in the face not once, but twice, and then immediately walked away. At the time of the incident, Lugo was off duty. We also learned he and Rourke were vying for the same state Senate seat in Warwick. Lugo has since dropped out of that race and was also placed on paid administrative leave from Providence Police. Providence Police Chief Hugh Clements later recommended Lugo be fired and called Lugo's behavior disturbing, egregious, assaultive and unprofessional. However, the law enforcement officer's Bill of Rights, Leobor, protects Lugo. His lawyer told 12 News his client requested a hearing, which would not take place until after his court case is resolved. Lugo made no formal statements inside the courtroom or to our photographer when he left the building. Now, Lugo's bail was set at $2,000 personal recognizance, and he was ordered not to have any contact with Rourke right now. His lawyer didn't make any new comments today, but he previous, previously said that Lugo believes the facts will exonerate him in this case. Brian. And Alex, state police today also released new images of another man they say was at the scene of the violence at the state house that night. What are we learning about that? Well, Brian, I'm told it was not intentional that these images were released today just ahead of Lugo's arraignment earlier this morning, but that it did take police a while to get this original video, they tell me, and also to get the images that they provided to us. So take a look at those images. They're calling this person a person of interest in the case. Police declined to tell me exactly what charges they may be facing, if any, and where else they were headed with this investigation, but they're asking if someone has any information to contact the Lincoln State Police Barracks and tips can be called in anonymously at 444-1000. I'm also told that as of right now, these images that you just saw will be the last that state police will be releasing uh, regarding this incident. Live in Providence tonight, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News. Alexandra, our thanks to you today. Tonight, we're learning more about reported violence at the State House during an abortion rights rally last month. Rhode Island State Police released images of another person of interest involved that night, shortly before the Providence police officer accused of assault faced the judge. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie has the latest on both new developments. She joins us now live from Providence with more. Alex? Well, Mike, a judge entered not guilty pleas on John Lugo's behalf after his brief arraignment. He was released and ordered not to have any contact with a woman he's accused of assaulting, now his former political opponent. John Lugo walked out of Providence District Court without making any comment about his case Friday. A Rhode Island State Police affidavit says a review of video recorded by an uninvolved party showed a small pocket of protesters surrounding a man who was assaulted. And shortly after that is when Lugo was also captured on camera. 12 News obtained video from radio and podcast host Bill Bartholomew showing one angle of the incident. State police say video shows Lugo taking a defensive stance before he squares off with Jennifer Rourke, who put her hands up, but is then struck by Lugo twice in the face. The law enforcement officer's Bill of Rights, Leobor, protects Lugo while he is out on paid administrative leave with Providence Police. His lawyer told 12 News his client requested a Leobor hearing, which would not take place until after his court case is resolved. Rhode Island State Police are still investigating violence from that night and are also trying to identify this man who they consider a person of interest. Police declined to tell me what charges this person may be facing, if any, and where else they were headed with the investigation.
Now, if you think you recognize that person in the images we just showed you, you're asked to call state police at the Lincoln Barracks. You can send in tips anonymously by calling 444-1000. Live in Providence tonight, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.